The first reading is from Isaiah chapter 64, verses 1 through 9. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake at your presence, as when fire kindles brushwood and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down. The mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you, who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. But you were angry, and we sinned. Because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us into the land of our iniquity. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we are all your people. The word of the Lord. Yes, <clears throat> Psalm 80, verses 1 through 7 and 16 through 18. I will read to the asterisks. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Massah, stir up, restore us, O God of hosts. O Lord God of hosts, you have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made us the derision of our neighbors. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand. And so will we never turn away from you. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. The epistle is from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, chap, chapter 1, 3 through 9. <clears throat> Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace, because of grace, of the grace God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end, so that you may be blameless 
blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By him you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. 